Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Sim Noobsy. Today I have a speed build for you. Now I did get part of this started before I started recording because I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to turn it into a speed build. But then after I got started, I was like, you know what? I might as well. I mean, I'm, I'm building, so I might as well record it. Why not? You know? So yeah. And this build was actually for a group collab challenge thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but anyways, over in the discord that I'm a part of, which would be the Sims Forever for Gizmo, super fantastic Simmers discord. Um, we do challenges every month and um, there's actually a project that we've been working on that the wonderful Peru Queen <laughs> decided to start having us do and we rebuilt Newcrest last time and that was actually our first world that we decided we were going to um, start redoing and then she decided that we were going to go ahead and do Willow Creek next and we took a poll to see what kind of theme we wanted to do and we all unanimously unanimously apparently I can't talk tonight decided that we wanted to do a whimsical theme so I was super excited about that because I had actually been thinking about doing like a whimsical type build anyways and so that made me really excited because I was like "Ooh, that means my build can actually have a purpose besides just throwing it up on the gallery and being like hey look I built a little cottage <laughs> so yeah um I'm not sure exactly when that whole save file is going to be available. Um, right now we have a deadline of like August 1st, I guess, and um, I'm not sure if we're going to stick to it. It depends on how many people have time to finish their builds. So eventually we will have it done and everything will be posted on Twitter about that and you'll be able to download the save file for yourself if you would like to have it in your game. So anyways, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the build a little bit. Now, I had fun with this because I got to use the mushroom plants from the alien world and I thought they were really cool so like I sized them up just to see you know how big they got and I'm pretty sure they get bigger than this but I didn't go any further <laughs> I just wanted it big enough to fit like a house underneath so because originally I was thinking I was gonna make like mushroom houses but I wasn't really sure if I'd be able to pull that off so I decided I was gonna save that for like my own personal I guess gameplay so um but yeah, so I figured I would just size them up and put a house underneath and see what we could do with it. And this ended up being a not quite as small as I was planning type of cottage, um, but it's very like lived in feeling, like kind of oldish feeling because I do place some of the cracks from the vampire pack on the walls. And just to kind of give it a little, a little bit of a, I don't know, old feeling, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. Um, now, I definitely could have went smaller with the kitchen, but you guys know I love kitchens, so I couldn't help myself, and I ended up putting in a very large kitchen, <laughs> and it made things a little bit difficult because I wasn't sure where I was going to end up putting the bathroom. Um, now, I'm not sure... What? That was a really long pause. Wow. Okay, I thought I cut that out. But anyways, um, apparently I did not. <laughs> um, but anyways, like I was saying, uh, that didn't leave much room for the bathroom. And then I was like, oh, shoot, I don't have room to put a bedroom down here because I wasn't going to use that little upstairs room for a bedroom. But I ended up having to because I just did not have enough room downstairs. And I really wanted to use that couch from Outdoor Retreat because it felt, you know, cabin-y, cottage-y, cottage I guess. <laughs> but I did not like the way it looked with the kitchen. And I was really struggling with color coordinating this time, like, for the rugs that I ended up using. Um, and that bed does it end up changing. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's... 
I, it was quite a struggle with the the rugs this time, but I'm, I feel like I struggle with those every time. So that's really nothing new, I guess. <laughs> and now that I'm watching the playback, I did not notice originally that those crates left a giant shadow when I sized them down. So that's a little disappointing. Um, but yeah, this house is actually way more cluttered than what I have ever made a house like this person that I imagined that lives here um I kind of thought of the sim as being like a, a writer that was kind of a I don't kind of a loner type person which is funny because I put like a giant dining room table in and the giant kitchen which would you know make you think that oh maybe they like to have you know guests over for dinner parties or whatever no no they really don't <laughs> They just keep to themselves and they just like a large kitchen, I guess. We'll, we'll go with that. But there's going to be a ton of, um, bookshelves. There we go. That are going to go in and lots of cluttery, like paper stacks and, um, boxes of files and books and all of that and I was actually going to even pile some stuff on the table but I was like you know I don't want to I don't want to get too carried away because <laughs> it was just it was getting to be too much and like even the kitchen I like way over cluttered and I was like oh my gosh I don't know if I can handle this <laughs> so yeah I don't know so I apologize if it's too cluttered for your liking um but, you know, if you do decide to download it, it's not like you can't fix it. So you can do whatever you want to once, you, once you've downloaded it. Because it is available on the gallery now. Um, and I did decide to name it Toadstool Lane for something kind of cute because of the giant mushrooms. And I couldn't think of anything else to call it. <laughs> so yeah, so here we are putting in the bookshelves. And yeah, see what I mean? There's, there's a lot of bookshelves and the desk just kind of fits right in there so and I was upset about that little empty spot like I wanted the whole wall to be bookshelves and realistically I probably should have moved the yeah I probably should have moved the um fireplace over I probably could have fit another one of the other bookcases in if I rearranged that a little better I don't know maybe not Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. It's done. So, <laughs> and I cut it out, but I was really struggling to place things on the fireplace. And then I remembered, wait, I can place things up here if I take the wall away because I tried to hang the painting and it was sticking like way out from the fireplace, which was not good. <laughs> it's like, how am I supposed to properly clutter this if I can't fit anything up here? So yeah, I fixed that and problem solved. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are putting in all of the clutter things, all the little books, and I even threw some CDs up in the, the bookcase, and there's the cracks I was talking about. Then we've got over here, we're getting started with the more kitchen clutter. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like I, I got a little random with the clutter, and I probably, I don't know, I should have maybe not put the and dog biscuits up there because I just got to thinking I didn't put like any pet stuff in the house but they have dog treats so I don't know I guess you're maybe your sim likes dogs and they just don't have one so they just put like dog bone cookies in there like scooby snacks or something I don't know <laughs> I don't know you can you know decide whatever you want with that <laughs> So yeah, but at least I did leave one cabinet or one counter uncluttered. So you, your sim does have a place to cook. So that's a good thing. Um, also, I did not put a dishwasher in, which is really weird for me, but I kind of felt like the person that lived there wouldn't have a dishwasher and they would have just had the, the little rack for dishes next to the sink there, like I put. And of course... Being that this is a whimsical build, I had to use the wishing well, which funny story, I have never used the wishing well and I've had the romantic garden pack for a while now and I just, I've never actually used the well. I've used it a couple times in builds, 
but I've never had my Sims actually use it, which is kind of weird to me. Maybe I should do that. I might have to do that just to kind of test it out and grab one of my families that I don't really care about and use them to test the well, because I'd really like to see what all, like the animations and stuff that go along with it. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I don't know, <laughs> the landscaping in here, I use some different plants than what I normally would use. Um, I love the little low-lying flowers that we have from Outdoor Retreat, so I thought those would be good ground cover. And then, of course, more of the alien, um, planting and whatnot. And I sized down a few fairies because I thought they were really pretty, so, um... And I'm hoping that your sim can still get through that gate with those bushes there. I just realized I did not play test. But anyways, you guys, this is the end of the video for the most part. We're at the still shots now, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you'd like to follow me over on Twitter, you'll have all updates for the channel and my Twitch channel, which I do stream usually Tuesday through Sunday. So anyways, you guys, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.